What up players, it's Wobos today back with another Black Scorpion Miniatures unboxing. Today we've got the lovely Adriana. Sorry about that, let's get that into focus. Adriana. She is what you might call a very classy lady. So I'm just gonna put her into this slot of base here for a second. I just took her out of the package. Let's take a look at the detail on her. Oh my. Hmm, she's one of those kinds of girls. So, I gotta say, I think I just bought, bought this miniature. I mean, it was all by itself, and, you know, I was buying all my other Western pirate and pirate guys, and I just saw this one, and I thought, you know, why not? So, I didn't notice while I was looking at it, though, that she's even more scandalous in the back. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Look at that. Bong, bong, bong. Um... Yeah, not really much to say. I think once, you know, you really get her under the brush, you can really do some pretty cool stuff. Like with the candle, you can do some pretty cool objects, source lighting maybe. I don't know why this teddy bear is in like full S&M gear with like the face mask and everything. That is just flipping weird. I don't know. I don't know what... The... What is what is that about? That's called autoerotic asphyxiation, Warbosh. Yeah, of course you would know all about it, wouldn't you, Lewis? Me and Adriana, we go way back. She's one of my one of my pros in different area codes. All right, that's that's great. Let's look at what she's holding in a tray. She's got the candle. She's got this little hourglass. Oh, you could do some really nice hourglass effects on that. She's got what looks like a little. A um, little bottle of something and then check this out on a tray. There's a snake See that little snake right there and then a little card with a heart on it ace of hearts so oh Buxom so quite the uh, Evocative lass there little belly button uh, Yeah, I don't know this was totally an impulse buy because I have no idea what you know what she does in the game. I don't have a copy of the Cutlass rule set. I just saw her and I was like, that is cool. I'm going to buy it. Maybe she could be an objective marker. I think she looks so much better than the Dark Eldar Slaves that just got re-released. Re like, Games Workshop, what are you doing? What are you thinking? Oh, those slaves look so gross. <laughs> I think if they redid their slaves kind of like this, you know, in a very sexy Lelith Hesperax kind of sculpt, they've got the talent to do it. I mean, you know, Whoever did Lelith, you can definitely get something. Um, hmm. Okay, you can definitely get some kind of. You know, the female form is like so beautiful, and you can do so much with the sculpts and the the mold casting machines and everything like that. So I love to see what what they could do with it. They've got this model has the lipped round base. Which is very war machine and hordish. So, you know, I'm interested to see what this model does in in the context of the game. She has no weapons, no place to put them, but um, yeah, it reminds me a lot of the Isabella von Karstein and Lelith Hesperax models. So, check it out, BlackScorpionMiniatures.com to see even more of this kind of shenanigans, and we'll see you in the next unboxing. Just to tack on on the end of this video, uh, I'd be interested to know, players, what you would use a model like this for. Objective marker? Slap her on some terrain? Um, would you actually use her to do anything in your army? Would you convert her, throw some, you know, a, a, a holstered pistol or last pistol or bolter pistol on her and run her as something? Like maybe an Inquisitor in disguise, kind of like Amberly Vale from the Caiaphas Kane series, how she's always in, you know, incognito in disguise. So let me know what you would use her for and what you'd use her disgusting uh, bondage teddy bear for. I'd love to get your input. Alright, thanks players.